Uh, now coming back to the uh, point, the second part of the experiment number one. In first part, we have uh, uh, taught about and discussed. About, I have discussed about the uh, single tuned uh, small signal amplifying circuitry. But here, uh, the experiment is not confined with the single tuned. It has also uh, it has also discussed in this uh, double tuning small signal amplifier and its uh, applications and its uh, what can I say operating principles too. So uh, to observing this thing that is a small signal amplifier uh, circuitry observation. So here you can see double tuning is uh, is a uh, is the second part of it. In that case, you have to keep 465 kilohertz this frequency same and uh, uh, the uh, you should vary the uh, voltage around and get the value and then get the gain also there are some transmission band characteristics that means uh, for this you have to take uh, 80 millivolt or uh, any kind of millivolts that should be similar that will not be changed and there are some kilohertz ranges that has been changes from here to there so so that's the thing that's the important thing that we have to uh, keep on our mind to just uh, calculate the things so 465 kilohertz there are some uh, varying the input voltages what that should do now <coughs> here you can see there is the double tuned amplifying circuit the circuit is uh, very much uh, similar to the previous one but there is a change there is a change uh, between this part there is a capacitor uh, in uh, that section there was a capacitor there was a capacitor an output section and there was a resistor uh, both are removed in that section and uh, there is a CE part 10 microfarad that has been parallel to the R3 or RE that is the emitter part section uh, that is the emitter uh, capacitor and uh, there is the main thing the main uh, change that took place here that is this part that is the double tuned amplifier for this part we have to take the transformer or mutual inductance okay so here you uh, you, you don't need to vary any any kind of this any kind of thing just put the value here just put it just put there that is uh, that is that we have taken that 100 milli henry that is the l primary and i haven't changed it here till now and that is a uh, 0.1 microfarad capacitor and the same capacitor should have to be there too to find out the value okay i have to just use uh, i have to just add here is here is a single inductor was there so i have to give the mutual inductor for this i have to take the transformer okay you can search it by there you can easily go through to there just search here write the inductor there's coupled inductors take the coupled inductor here and just uh, put aside that puts just put it put aside there so uh, uh, that's that's the part now uh, what what i have uh, changed here then I have just add uh, the 0.1 microfarad of capacitor again there just to make the connections that is uh, that you have to go to do it slope forward this part is the uh, tuning part and we have used the mutual inductance that's the change that's the change that's the change that we are looking forward now uh, coming back to the uh, point that uh, we have to run the simulation right now and uh, go through to the outputs okay now we are running the simulation and uh, this is stopping the simul simulation just go to the graphite section uh, sorry is there any graph there yes there is a graph but that the graph has not a scaling it, yet it's not scaled so i have to take it um, just uh, put the value down to find out that find that uh, value right now I want to find it uh, there is a very much uh, sorry okay in that section uh, there uh, there is a change we have to make uh, for uh, that resonance frequency of uh, 465 kilohertz with the same uh, equation uh, that is uh, that is gonna be the uh, you know that is that is a pick one to uh, one by uh, twice by uh, root over mc and both the mutual inductances both the mutual inductances should have to be changed so here we have uh, taken 0.1 microfarad fixed 
for uh, 465 kHz we have to put there and find out the L and we have get we have find the L as 1.17 micro Henry so um, how can you change it you can change it just by uh, clicking it here uh, there was uh, in, in your right side there was a section that will came forward that is TS ideal L primary and secondary just put the value what did you get 1.17 micro Henry that I had uh, that I have get um, that I had get and I just uh, put it through so after putting this uh, that will be balanced now now you can get the easily get the uh, uh, what can I say that is the output of the uh, circuitry now just uh, go through to the part I have just uh, start uh, simulating this now uh, then I have just stopped it now go to the graphite section now you can see here uh, that is going to be the output of double tuned amplifier circuit so there are some ups and downs there for 465 uh, kilohertz frequency so uh, there is a pattern that you can see here this pattern portion up and downwards and there is the pattern and then again the pattern comes from there to there so how can you calculate uh, the uh, peak voltage out uh, out of output peak, peak to peak voltage that's pretty much simpler you have to take the two peaks out of it that whether it starts from it starts from here and uh, it ends uh, uh, just about the point here so there is another period that will come forward to that then it will end in that portion and that will go forward so on so for this uh, after uh, taking the points now I have to go through to the point in detail so at the top point top position is quite clear that is a 4.3633 millivolt just uh, take 4.36 millivolt here and the last point of it is known as uh, minus 3.4 Zero one seven. So just uh, add this two value, three point four zero, and uh, that is four point three six. Four point three six plus three point four zero or that is seven point seven six. That is uh, seven point uh, seven six. That I have got seven point seven six millivolt range. That is on the millivolt range. Now get under the uh, next section. Uh, now you can write here the output voltage that I have got 7.76 7.76 millivolts Now you can easily find out the uh, gain out of it. So you have to just divide it 7.76 divided by 10 that is uh, 0 0.776 uh, That means 0 0.78 0 0.78 the gain that means in double tuned amplifier circuit the gain has been improved than the single uh, tuned uh, amplifier circuit then just last uh, but not the least in these parameters you have to find out just to take the 80 millivolt out of it just change the 450 uh, just kilohertz to 450 kilohertz okay let's start now uh, go to the part there just uh, we have to change uh, the at it as uh, uh, 450 uh, kilo 450 kilo and uh, the uh, the output will be the same that is 80 millivolt all around that 80 millivolt all around must just start the simulation out of it to get the output okay simulation is on the way now stop the simulation go to the graphite section what does the graphite say now oh my god has been huge change that we have uh, uh, that has been gained a lot of part just wait a minute uh, that is uh, the uh, desired output of it now uh, in the same parameter we have to take uh, the top portion and the last portion that is the topmost portion of the first uh, section that is the topmost portion of the first section topmost portion and what is the crest and what is the downfall the last downfall is minus 96.397 96.397 and upwards is uh, 101.66 uh, and uh, after adding uh, these two values 96.397 plus 101.66 198.057 uh, that has been improved 198 uh, that's millivolt 